Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new episode of Hashtag Playing Together. I think this is the fifth one. So welcome wherever you are or whenever you see this. Hello, uh, I am Desi and this is my colleague Johan from the Southern North. And we have a special guest tonight, Pierre Paul. Pierre Paul, can you say welcome. words about you? About Hello, uh, I am, I am Pierre Paul and... Uh, well. Wait. Well, you should uh, turn off the sound of your phone or yeah. There. Yes. Okay. I think I, I think I solved it. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. But this, this was all this was all planned to break to break the ice. So it, all of this was <laughs> that's perfect. Thoroughly, thoroughly planned. You know, just to spice things up a little bit. Anyway, I, I'm Pier Paolo, and uh, I work for uh, Impro Brussels, uh, being the artistic director okay. of, uh, of the Improv School, which revolves around. Penguins. The penguin. And we will talk about the penguin later. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So the format of tonight is the following. We are going to play a little narrative, 50 minutes. We actually never played before uh, with Pier Paolo in Zoom. Uh, never done that. So it will be so exciting to see how it goes. And after the 50 minutes, don't go. We will have a, a little interview. And we talk with Pier Paolo about his... Uh, yeah, about improv and improv is in life and projects and all the things you do and like about it. So that's the idea. Now we have a, yeah, we'll be we asking a, a word from the audience. Yes. Yeah. Kind of a word, maybe um, location. Yeah, perhaps a location. Yeah. So can so, you give us a suggestion about a location? Yeah, just put in the chat a couple of uh, locations, whatever you think about, and uh, Desi will read them. Uh, we will start with something. We have to wait. Yeah, it's always a bit of a delay on Facebook, so a few seconds. So we, can, we can make small talk. In yeah, the yeah so we should do. <laughs> so, how was your day? Uh, I don't know, actually, a bit tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a very busy day, but mm -hmm. uh, you always get a bit of adrenaline, yeah, doing this improv stuff. So, um, and how was your day, Per Paolo? My day was uh, was pretty cool. So yesterday I, I spent most of the night uh, awake looking look after the U.S. elections, which oh, is yeah. too, too big. we oh. don't have any results. <laughs> so, so today I was basically like a zombie because I haven't slept a lot. So <laughs> I, I I'm, I'm not sure if I did the right things today. I'll okay. Find out tomorrow, I guess. Okay, we have a hotel, forest, car workshop, Colosio, police station, island, royal garden. Okay, so Pier Paolo, pick a choice. Me? What do you want? Yeah. No, yeah. I, don't give me this responsibility. Yeah, 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 yeah. The responsibility of the show will be yours now. <laughs> okay, okay, can you repeat them but lower than this? Because it was very bad. A hotel. Hotel. A forest. 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 Car yeah. workshop. Colosio. Mm -hmm. A police station. Island. Royal Garden. And artistic research facility. No. Art. Arctic research facility. Mm -hmm. I'm all about artistic now. So. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. It's good. It's good. But it can be Arctic and also artistic. Um, I will take the forest. The forest. Okay. Yeah, I like the forest. Good, like the forest. everyone. Um, well, enjoy the forest and we switch off the cameras. trees yeah go on go on continue continue when you chop trees remember to chop always from the same side and the tree will fall on that side remember this i remember that father i remember that very well but sometimes i have the feeling that the tree is a living being why should we kill it we need wood for the winter. How are you gonna stay warm while outside it's raining and it's minus 40 degrees? It seems so, so unfair, really. Keep chopping. Oh, no, wait, there's a rabbit. Shoot the rabbit, shoot the rabbit, there's oh. a rabbit, shoot the rabbit, shoot the rabbit. Shoot the rabbit. <laughs> okay, good. I've got it. 
Good. Good. Now we're going to have fire and also some food. Listen, son, I understand your concerns, but if we don't kill nature, we're all going to die. I understand that, father. We have to kill the trees. We have to kill all the animals we see. We even have to kill the flowers, yeah? Yeah, but that only because we like it. You mean that we like to kill? Yes. But, but there are also some killings that we do, my son, that we do for our own, you know, for our own life. After mother died, things changed so much for us, don't you think? Yes. We, you know, have pleasure in strange things. Father, why don't you marry again? What? With whom? I don't know. I, I could never... I could never be with another woman and... Uh, uh, bonjour. Uh, I think she's we lost. Uh, father! Hello, father! Madame. Father! Yes? I will leave you with her. I will leave you what? with her. What, sorry? I will leave her. I oh. go. I go. But, okay, 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 fine, go. Uh, hello, hello, madame. Um, uh, hello, sir. Uh, Hello, je suis, uh, je suis ici in the forêt. Yes, oui? yes. Uh, uh, my name is Brigitte uh, uh, Bardot. Uh, I Br am Bri Brigitte Bardot. Yes, I am the, uh, uh, how do you call the granddaughter. Okay. Uh, I am here uh, to protect animals okay. from, uh -huh. from viol violence. Okay. Yes. Okay, um, and, and you are lost in the forest. How did you get here in the first? Because we are deep down inside the woods, inside the forest of the mighty black tree. We're far away from most of the, 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 the closest form of civilization is, is my house, which is not far, but there's nothing else. What brings you to this forest, Madame uh, Bishop Bardot? I, uh, uh, brings me here, uh, the rabbits. I came here to protect all the rabbits. Ah, see. Well, we are having rabbit for dinner. Maybe you want to join us. Uh, you invited a rabbit to have dinner with you? Uh, kind of. Okay. Uh, kind of. That's new. Yeah, but he will uh, be joining the dinner, the, the rabbit. Uh, Why well, I never invited a rabbit? I would love to have good conversation with rabbit. Okay, uh, I don't know how much the rabbit will be able to make conversation, uh, but, he, but he will listen. Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, so nice people he, here. Uh, so, uh, this way, please. Come. Okay. Come. Let's go. I, I have seen this nice lady. She's here in the forest all alone. I have to warn her. These people are so cruel. The father and the son are the monsters of the forest. The enemies of the rats and the animals in the trees. And us. Yes. She's called Brigitte. What a nice name. I hope. Oh. It's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. Yes. I'm, he I'm here too. Oh, oh, Lady Penguin. Yes. Have I'm you seen? Too. Have you seen that lady here in the forest? We have to warn her. She should not go to have dinner with that man. I know. I know. They're all very dangerous. And Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, I am afraid. That they're gonna, they're gonna eat us. Oh, 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 uh, oh! They, they, uh, it's just, it's just a matter of time, and we are, we are on, on the plate. Oh, it's just a matter I'm of so time. I'm so scared. I'm Me so too. Scared. Oh, oh. Oh, let's, they're coming. They're coming. They're let's, coming. Let's, let's hide. Let's hide. Hide, hide, hide. hide. Ooh, uh, they're 
very beautiful. And oh, this is, the, this is the house. And uh, welcome. And um, meet. And there's, there should be my son somewhere. Um, oh. Mark, you show up. Hi. Okay. <laughs> so, Mark, meet uh, Madame uh, Brigitte Bardot. <laughs> I just back from the forest. <laughs> oh, you, you, you cut wood? I cut wood, you mean? Wood. 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 Like tree? Yeah, uh, whatever. Look. It makes it's paper. So sharp. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Mark, uh, I will go now and, and, and prepare uh, some dinner. Oh, Why yeah. don't you entertain uh, our friend, uh, Madame Brigitte? Okay? <laughs> I okay, will, I'll be right back. I will. Oh, your father very nice. He he speaks to rabbits. He he uh, t told me that. Yeah, I speak to rabbits as well. You see. Mm. You know yeah. when when they're dead, I try to read the bones. Yeah. To oh. for the future, and I I saw I saw that you would come. Collect the uh, bodies of the uh, animals? Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, that is interesting. Someone takes care of the. Oh, yeah, we take good care of all the beasts. Oh. You know, my father is a lonely man. He needs a wife, mother. Mother? Uh, <laughs> you, don't, uh, you don't have mother. Uh, okay, that is, is interesting. Oh, um, Madame Brigitte. Madame oui. Brigitte. Oui, comme oui. oui. I overheard. <laughs> I overheard everything. I know that you're here to save animals, right? Uh, oui. We are all held captive here. These men are going to eat. Look, there's the rabbit. There's yeah. the rabbit. <laughs> oh, did these people, they invited so many uh, rabbits and penguins over for dinner. You have to run! You have to run! They want to they wanna eat us for dinner. Eat? Uh, you have to save us, Madame you, Brigitte. Uh, as, as, Please. as meat? Yes! Yes! Take us with you! No, 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 Please. no, no, no. This, this is very, very bad. <sighs> very bad. Yes, yeah, I know. very bad. Take us with you. I, guess with you, please. I will talk to them. I will talk to them. Yes. Oh. Okay. I hope. Don't, okay. Don't please. Please. I have to hide. Please. Don't attack people. Please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Please. Uh, who were you talking, uh, Madame Brigitte? Who were you talking to? I was hearing some noises. Uh, I was uh, talking to uh, my uh, my hat. <laughs> you, you were uh, you were talking to your hat. Yes. And what was the conversation like? Uh, uh, about the beautiful house and the beautiful, delicious uh, dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Father, I found this one. It okay. was inside the house. I killed it. Okay. Oh, ah. good. Uh, throw it in the boiling water and we'll serve it for dinner to Madame Brigitte Pardot. No, I'm not a killing animals program. You should not kill animals. Because you, if you kill animal, their spirits, they stay on earth. They never go on the other side. And they are unhappy until the end of the world. Did you know that? I didn't know. I didn't know. You know, Madame Brigitte, ever since my beloved wife died, I thought that nothing pretty will ever live on this earth again but now i see why my killing animals has has haunted my house and my family you, you understand you feel me yes i do you have opened my eyes madame Brigitte. do you want to be Mark's new mother. I need to become your wife. 
because you need someone to lead you in in life with you and uh, your son is i think older than me i think it's about time to keep your son out of the house and make your family with me he can survive outside he can okay. collect the animals bodies and put them in graves Okay. Okay. There's there's one thing I have to do before you go. Before no, sorry, before we get married actually. So, Mr. Penguin, come. So, I I, I was planning to I was planning to eat you, Mr. Penguin, but now you're free. You can go. Fuck me. Merci, merci monsieur. He went. He's gone. You, Bye. Je, 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 merci beaucoup. He went. Also, Mark, go. It's like that. Mark. Ah, yeah. oh, no, you're here. Father, I have heard everything. So it's good. Goodbye. It's good. Mark, that you understand. I do. You need me to leave. You are uh, around 45 years old, I can say. Go out, find a good woman. I will. Be a good person. I will. And, and most importantly, Mark, learn to love, not only to kill. I will. And end scene. Okay, you can all come back. I, I'm still very touched. <laughs> I, need, I need a moment. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, let me be back. Here we are. Okay. Okay, many thanks for okay. your follow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, Thank you. and it was really Thank coincidence you. that I had this rabbit lying around and you the axe. everything around me. <laughs> that was so funny. The rabbit, that was pure rabbit. That was a fluke. Yeah. Like, we totally fluked the rabbit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, many thanks that you're here. So uh, we started with a little interview. Oh, and uh, we are going to ask you a couple of questions. Yeah, to see. Sure, of course. Yeah. With pleasure. Um, I yeah, ask? just uh, when, yeah. When was I like this question? <laughs> when was your first improv experience on stage, and how was it? My first improv experience on stage was um, with my first year uh, at, at the end, end of the year show, and 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 it was uh, so after one year I've been doing improv. And it was a nightmare. I still, I still have <laughs> nightmares. Yeah. I still have night tremors about that that one experience. I mean, I was frightened, frightened to the point that, yeah. So no, it, it was terrible. But but the second one was a little better. No. Really the second one's the best one. Yeah. No, <laughs> not for me. <laughs> no, no, like really, I was I was shaking. I was petrified. Yeah. yeah so I, I I think that's really interesting. Um, what would you say today to your younger impro self? Yeah, because I think a lot of people, they are really anxious to go on stage or they are frightened or they, it's, some, it's not easy. So what would, mm. you, what would you tell to yourself? Wow, that's interesting. Um, I would tell myself, well, it's basically I would tell myself what I tell my students, which is, it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to produce uh, a performance you don't have to, pr top, to produce a top peak performance yeah. otherwise you're a bad improviser or anything it's okay to be scared it's okay to be nervous it's okay not to be super in shape for your first it's it's whatever you're going through it's okay it's part of the process yeah so um if you can relax if you can't then don't 
and it will be still okay. <laughs> so embrace whatever comes because there's no, there's, yeah, there's nothing wrong. No. Oh. That's what I would say. And you are a teacher now, info teacher. So yes. which one do you prefer, being a teacher and or being an improviser on stage, an actor? And which one is more challenging for you? Uh, yes. I, I'm not sure that, that, that I have a preference because the thing is, I couldn't do one without the other. Uh, me personally, for example, I couldn't teach if I if, if I didn't go on stage frequently, yeah. Um, because otherwise, I, I would lose touch, you know, with 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 what is being on stage about, what is um, with all of this. So I think that that really I couldn't pick one over the other because they are both. It's like two legs. Like, do you prefer your right leg or your left leg? It's really hard to say. <laughs> And uh, so this, and what is more challenging? Um, it sometimes, sometimes performing some formats, maybe it's, maybe it's more challenging uh, at this point. Yeah. At, at this point, I, I'm not, I'm not making a general point that it's always like this for everyone, always. I'm saying for me at this point, um, some formats that I play, are challenging to get into to understand and to really make mine and and that might be a little bit more challenging than than being class and teaching okay <clears throat> what do you think um, are the key things a good teacher should have when you're in front of students some teacher some key things that a good teacher should have yes well wow. Uh, on top of my head, like I'm thinking out loud, so I would yeah, probably no say <laughs> very important things. But like, so thinking out loud, I would think that uh, a good teacher has to first of all know know the craft inside and out, mm -hmm. and that's often overlooked because um, okay, empathy, okay, everything, okay, under emotional intelligence, okay, everything. But you're teaching improvised theater, and you must know improvised theater yeah. in sign out you have to have studied it performed it for years and then uh in order to be a good teacher you have, you have to, or at least you have i mean it, maybe it's impossible like to know improv theater what does it even mean mm -hmm. but at least to have to form your own your own path yes say, okay in it so that's that's important and and another thing that's very very important is that I think you have to understand how your students learn because everyone learns in a different way everyone yeah. goes through especially this thing i mean improv theater is a very emotional craft so you have as a teacher you have to feel each one where they are in their path how they're learning things, how they're processing things, yes. and what is their path in order to be supportive uh, for their individual their individual path. So you have to be really really in touch with, um, with every individual mm, student. Yeah, you have, really, to, you have yeah. to be in touch with the group, like on a human level, yes. and not only on on a technical no, level. No, no. So I would say probably these two things cover for ninety percent of uh, of all that there is to. Right now, like on top of my head, this is what I can think of. I have a question I like asking a lot lately. <laughs> yes. Have you thought about, or maybe you already did it, but have you thought about writing a book about improv? <laughs> Lee, uh, Lee White told us that there are already over 75 books about uh, improv, but maybe your book is me. Uh, yeah, so... That, that's exactly the point. Of course, I've thought about writing my, my book about improv, but it's going to be yet another book about improv <laughs> out there. Like, like think like, see, where we really, does the world really need another book about improv theater? I don't think the world needs that. And um, I don't think that at this stage, my personal um, take on improv it would be revolutionary enough to justify the fact that I'm saying, okay, I'm writing 76 because <laughs> the world read it. So I, I, I don't think that would, that would be justified. And, and on top of all of that, 
uh, I like the, the very concept of, 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 of improv books. I don't know. I, I think they're more useful for when someone is already into into the craft, has been into the craft for a while. So while you read the book, you recognize stuff that already happened to you and stuff that you already went through and maybe you see you see these things under a different light. Yeah. And uh, while um, I'm not sure that that they that they're in general, obviously, we have to make distinction from book to book, but the concept of of, you know, learning improv, reading a book and reading their stuff that you don't recognize in your personal story and learning it. I'm a little perplexed yeah. about this. Yeah. the whole concept about no, learning in with the penguin on the cover. Yes, the penguin. <laughs> Let's talk okay. about the penguin. <laughs> Let's talk about the penguin. Let's. Or we could talk yeah. about the star of the show. It is this. Yeah. So that's basically the logo, yeah, of uh, of of Impro Brussels yes. of the school. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so why so the penguin? We have other over there. Yeah. <laughs> Follow the penguin. Follow the penguin. <laughs> yes. So, so you want to know why, I guess. I chose yeah, it. yeah, I'm a bit curious. That's a question I get a lot. I don't, <laughs> I don't have, a, I don't have a very like, like a, a very convincing answer. If if not, like, why not? Because the thing is, uh, <laughs> That's I have, I, 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 I have a belief. So, where the normal person asks why, the improviser asks why not so, <laughs> the penguin the why not why not you okay think, okay so so you think so you look at the penguin so there's there are a lot of, of metaphors for it so the penguin is really cute look really cute you know? <laughs> yeah but so like info should be cute but and and they look really clumsy you know when they walk they look really clumsy <laughs> yes. and they're super cute and like improvisers should but they're really they're really agile like for example when they are in water like True, they go yeah. they chase they super yeah, fast super exactly. agile they chase fish yes in water and so they look clumsy but they're really really agile really cool and they and they're one of the animals that have the biggest uh sense of of group in the whole animal kingdom so one, one story that, that really that really like blew my mind when i learned it is that so when they're in antarctica and yeah. it's winter and there are these very cold winds in the winter in antarctica can you even imagine that so these penguins, they form like a, a huddle and they all face like they form a circle, 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 facing inwards. Okay. And so the, the penguins that are inside are, are warm, but the, the penguins that are outside are getting all of the wind, right? Mm. So there is this kind of current of penguins which gradually, the ones that are outside goes oh. gradually inside and then back outside. Yeah. So each one gets their fair share of uh oh that's good so they're really cooperative animals they, they work as a team like improv players <laughs> what the, like the meaning be behind this penguin <laughs> yeah. no i think it's fair. great yeah collaboration yeah, and working other, together yeah there are many species of penguins that are uh acute, the, 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 the have share the fact that they're penguins just like improvisers do many different yeah. styles of improv but we're all improvising and I could run. That's good. Okay. Um, can you tell me about your? Well, it's of course difficult times, yeah, with with, with COVID. Um, but could you tell a few things about the school, perhaps in Pro Brussels? Um, and, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. So yeah, again, right now we're we're in lockdown, so we're yeah. trying to figure out how to what to make of it. Um, yeah continue online when we will be in, allowed to go back in class etc etc so it, it is a improv theater school uh, that um, takes you since when you're a baby not, not like a little <laughs> baby like an improv baby like you've never done improv before yeah uh, you sign up with us and you might just be lucky enough to end up in class with our beautiful Daisy which is teaching, <laughs> teaching beginners classes or you might end up in class with me and, and then we do first year, second year, third year, fourth year, and, and we go. And in the first year or two, we learn the very basics of improv theater, what it is, uh, how to approach a theater without uh, a, a scene, without a script, yeah. how to do to work with the group, et cetera, et cetera. And then as time progresses, assuming that you like it and then you want to improvise, which most people do, 
um, we start looking into tools and different formats in order for mm -hmm. like our advanced students now uh, now play. They're organizing to put together a format to play in inter international festivals, for example. So there are, um, yes, uh, occasions to to play and, 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 and to experiment. Yeah, and and we well. also do other stuff that's not necessarily improv theater, okay. which is also, for example, scripted theater. We're looking into scripted theater. Mm -hmm. um, I was supposed to give a workshop on emceeing, yeah. like all hosting a show, yes. Yes. all things that, that are, that have to do with theater and, um, but are not necessarily strictly improv theater. Because I think anyway, improv theater is a broad enough uh, form of art that includes many other things. Yeah, exactly. So, and in exactly. Brussels, we do all of that. Okay, so if people want to follow a course or they want to contact you, what's the best way? The best way is, is to like our Facebook page, ah, okay. uh, in Pro in Pro Brussels. Yeah. Uh, for I know we are also on, on Instagram in Pro Brussels and and uh, and follow our our internet site, which is uh, inprobrussels.com. Okay. And, uh, yeah. That's that's the best way of, of being up to date yeah. and for everything that you, that that you need. If you can write to the Facebook page or on on the on the internet site. There's the contacts page, and you have contacts of of, the, of myself, of Daisy, of the other teachers, of the executive coordinator, and we're super happy to give you all the information and that, that you need. Yeah, that's great. And we are going to put and cross your fingers for lockdown twins for yes. yeah pandemic twins. So. Exactly. We are going to put the link of the school and etc. on our Facebook page as well, so um, that people okay, can easily you. find you back. So. Thank you. Um, Good. Well, I think, uh, yeah, we run a bit out of uh, over time, but thank you so much for being with us. <laughs> guys, well, thanks, for, thanks for inviting me. Thanks yeah. For <laughs> My pleasure. Play. You're very welcome to play with us again. And also, everybody who wants to play with us, just send us a message. We'll yeah. To meet you on screen. <laughs> we have usually two, two sessions uh, a week. Uh, we have also a week with three. Uh, we have a very nice lineup. So um, next Sunday we have Boyd Branch with us. Um, and we are going to play in a virtual environment. Um, all yeah, it's very exciting. So, um, but we have uh, very very nice, amazing people coming uh, for the rest of the month. And uh, yeah, we are looking to this for a while. So uh, because we yeah, very very much enjoy it. So um, thank you. And the penguins. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Bye. see you soon. And uh, many thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.